Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Paige, welcome. And today you're going to be seeing a part two of my interstim vlog. Um, tomorrow I'm getting the permanent wires and battery put underneath my skin. So yeah, I thought I would chronicle this experience the same way as I chronicled the trial experience. So if you're interested, please go check that out before watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell so you see every time I post, which is Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm getting these wires tomorrow to help regulate my bladder. Um, I experience bladder retention and urgency and lots of issues with my bladder, leakage. Um, yeah, I've had issues with my bladder since high school. So these wires that are being put into my lower back are connected to a battery that stimulates my sacral nerve, which they believe is damaged, and allows my sphincter to relax and for me to pee. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So to get this surgery done, I had to have three different tests done, a pregnancy test, a test to see if I have any infections, so bladder infections, um, and then I had to do a COVID test and all of them came back negative, so I am good to go for tomorrow. Um, I also had to pick up a surgery kit. Here's my guy. And inside we have a complex carbohydrate pre-surgery drink that I'm going to drink tomorrow, two hours before my arrival time. And some, uh, and some preoperative skin prep wipes to wipe myself down tonight before bed. My mom and my boyfriend are bringing me to the hospital tomorrow and taking care of me after the surgery. So yeah, I have it all planned out and ready to go and I'm excited. Um, I am more nervous for the recovery than I am for the surgery itself. Um, I just know that I have a long recovery period from anything. Like if they say a week, it's probably going to be longer than that. So I'm just prepared to pace myself and rest a lot. And yeah, something that is going to make my surgery a little bit more complicated is if you watched my last video, the doctor who pulled, who was, who was supposed to pull out the temporary wires cut them at my skin, so I have temporary wires still inside of my body. So she's going to try to fish them out without causing too much trauma to my body, my lower back. So that's going to be interesting. I'll see you guys on surgery day. Good morning, you guys. It is day one of my recovery process. Um, I'm sorry I didn't come on here yesterday and talk about how the surgery went. I was super out of it all day. So um, they called me before my procedure and asked me to come in even earlier. So that was nice. Got to go in a little bit earlier than planned. Um, everything went fairly well. They were unable to get out the PNE wire from before. So that's unfortunate. Um, I'm pretty sore. I took a picture of it yesterday that I'll show you, but I'm gonna take another picture of it today because it's starting to bruise. I want you guys to see that. Um, I didn't sleep super well because I just feel really like uncomfortable and sore and stiff. I've been icing it, keeping everything clean. I have been oozing a bit, so I slept with a towel laid out because I did bleed on my nice Brooklyn in sheets and that saddens me to the core. 
but um, hopefully it comes out. The puppies have been taking great care of me. Yeah. But I thought I'd show you guys the device that comes with the interstem unit and I'll show you guys a picture of the battery with the wire as well but it comes with a phone in this case and a I'm not sure what to call it but another device here and you turn this on and put it over the battery um, when you're changing the stimulation um, or turning the device on or off and then you just put this back in the case and it also comes with user ID. It comes with this little card here. It has um, your ID for tech support and you can show it at the airport um, if they notice that you have a pacemaker device. So yeah, that's my little device that I use for my interest in. And yeah, I um, plan to keep you guys updated on my recovery process. And at the end of this video, I'll try to give like an overview of the whole process, how I feel about it, if I'm happy with it, all of that. So stick around for that. So it's Monday now. I had the surgery Wednesday. So this is my fifth day of recovery. Um, I'm doing pretty good today. I am up. I've put something on other than a nightgown, which is a dress, but it's something other than a nightgown. I put my hair into a nice ponytail. Um, I had my first day of class today. Um, it was supposed to be Wednesday, but I obviously had surgery, so I missed my first day of school. Um, it was just online today. Um, it went well. But I'm finally going to leave the house today. I have not left the house since my surgery. Um, I plan to go to my cheer practice for a while, try to coach, sitting down, obviously. Um, but yeah, everything's going well. I'm off of the pain medication except for sleeping because laying on it is very uncomfortable still. I haven't started my exercises yet. I haven't been able to bend all the way over yet. There are still some limitations but I am feeling much better. I'm not in any pain. Um, I, this might be too much information, but I wasn't able to go number two, if you know what I mean? Um, after the surgery for a few days, I finally had my first passing yesterday and it was painful extremely. So when I pushed too hard for too long, I started to feel the stimulation like intensely. It was awkward. So, um, but today when I went, it was much easier. I think it was just because I had been constipated for so long. And it's pretty normal after a surgery to be constipated. It was just more painful to finally go because my incisions are on my back so close to my rear end. So, so yeah, I would say my recovery is going very smooth. I still am wishing that they got those extra wires out. Like I'm still having worry about the wires causing issues in the future, but I'm gonna try just to let it go until it causes an issue. Um, everything's healing well. I was finally able to take a normal shower the other day and no problems. So, so here are my scars. This is, where the battery pack is. It's like in in there, it's a circle. And then here is where the wire is, the new wire. And then the two at the bottom are where they tried to fish out the old wires unsuccessfully. I will see you guys at my next check-in. It has been a week since my surgery and I'm feeling good. I did my makeup and hair today to kind of bring me back from the dead a little bit because I've been laying in, in bed for like a week straight. So yeah, just wanted to feel fresh and good. 
I definitely overdid it at practice, just a little too much walking and moving around on Monday, so I paid for it yesterday, but feeling better today, totally off pain medication. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. So there it is. You can see I'm bruising pretty bad right here. Um, I think that I slept on it wrong. I don't know. It could be from practice as well. So maybe that's just how it's healing. But yeah, it's, this is how it's going. I'm still icing it. I'm still taking certain precautions so that I'm not in pain. Um, but I am off of the Norco that they gave me. Um, I don't love taking Norco, so I got off of it as soon as I possibly could. And today's my last day of the antibiotic. So all done with medications after today, for the surgery at least. Um, my checkup is in like two weeks, so it'll be a while before a doctor actually looks at it. Um, I was thinking about doing another check-in in a week, but I actually feel pretty good. Um, as of right now, like, yeah, I'm still sore, but I am urinating better. I am not like in a lot of pain. Um, I mean, everything's going good by that standard. I'm still playing around with the stimulation level a little bit, but I think I've found a good level right now where it's not so intense that I feel it when I lay down to go to bed. Um, Cause it does kind of, if it's too high, I can feel it when I go to bed and lay down like my restless leg syndrome kind of, it makes it worse. Why am I messing with my hair so much? But I think I found a good level where it's strong enough to help me, but not so strong that I can feel it when I'm laying in bed at night. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the surgery. I am glad that I got it. The first couple of days, I was a little skeptic just because I didn't have it on a setting that was working for me and I was in a lot of pain. So I wasn't getting the benefits and I was in pain. So I was a little skeptic, but now that I found a good level and I'm not in as much pain, it all, it, it's all just going good. So very pleased with the surgery. I am still disappointed that I have those wires just sitting there because it could cause an issue. It could poke something, but I'm going to let go of the things I cannot control. I'm just going to be happy that I'm getting some benefits from the surgery. I'm just glad to be able to pee again without having to sit there and talk to, talk myself into it um, and like relax every muscle in my body to be able to pee. It's just, it was hard. It was so frustrating and I, it would be embarrassing when I would go to the restroom and come back a long time later and have to keep doing that over and over, especially at work. So this is going to help me in a lot of ways and I'm very excited to not have to use the bathroom all the time and not even get to go. I will see you in a week for my last check-in of this video. It has officially been two weeks since my surgery today, which is super exciting because that means I can start to do more physically. Um, I have had an amazing experience, honestly. I know that there was that complication where they cut the wire instead of pulling it out and couldn't get it out in surgery. But as long as that doesn't cause any issues in my future, the surgery has done what it was meant to do. I have not peed my pants. I have not felt the need to pee my pants. I have not had urgency. I have not had retention. I feel like I can fully empty my whole bladder and I feel like I'm just not going to get as many infections as before. I'm not going to have as many accidents, which happened and it's embarrassing as an adult. So I'm very, very grateful to my urologist for figuring out what was wrong with me and offering a solution because solutions don't come often when you have a chronic illness. So yeah, hopefully this works for me for a long, long time. 
and I don't have to worry about it for five years. The battery lasts for five years. So yeah, I am happy and I am healthy for the most part. And I am just so overjoyed that I don't have to worry about peeing anymore. I just always felt like a toddler trying to potty train myself and it the connection just wasn't there from that nerve to my brain so I physically couldn't do it. But thanks to the Interstim and my urologist, here I am, I can pee like a normal person. So I'm very pleased with the outcome of the surgery and I think it was all worth it in the end. There have been times where I'm in pain, like if I sit in one position for too long in an uncomfortable chair, yeah, I just had surgery two weeks ago, so of course it hurts and I'm gonna pay for it later, but I've been okay, I'm healing well. So yeah, I'll put in one more update picture of what my back is looking like right now. Um, I'm going to get it checked next week, so, so I'm hoping that he's, he or she says that everything looks good. It does to me. So yeah, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I'm very, very honored to be able to share this experience with you guys um, because I wasn't able to find a lot of people who have an interest in online. So hopefully this me sharing my process of getting the inner stem will give you some insight maybe make you feel more comfortable if you're going to get an inner stim. So yeah, I hope that everyone is healthy. I hope that everyone is safe. And I hope that everyone is happy. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe and like this video. It would mean the world to me um, if you did subscribe. And feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. My Instagram is in the description box. So yeah, I'll see you guys next Friday. And until then, have a, have a great week. Bye.